it is range test day with the Mars Adventure Gear roof rack and rooftop tent up here. Uh, this is their Aeroblade tent. We'll be doing three different loops, one with the tent, one without the tent, and then one fully stock once we're done here. So stay tuned for numbers. The numbers will be in the description if you wanna jump straight to that, but let's get on the road. This truck has been preconditioning for about 20 minutes here. So with this test here, we'll be doing three 20 mile loops. Each one will be 20 miles. And as you can see, our acceleration is chill, ride handling is relaxed, and preferred ride height is lower. Again, this is a 20 mile loop, mostly, almost entirely interstate at 70 miles an hour. We'll be using FSD to keep our speed and keep our uh, AC or about 67 today. Uh, the temperature itself outside is 68 degrees with very little wind at six miles an hour out of the west northwest. So it is a perfect day. Uh, no change throughout the day today as we tear down this truck to stock. Let's reset our trip here. Reset and we're good to go. Alrighty, we are getting on the highway. Nice and gentle acceleration here. Beautiful. Just like that. Sit back, relax. Here is our exit. We'll be pulling a U-turn right at the end of this on-ramp here. Uh, to get back on the other direction. We're currently about 450 watt hours per mile pulling off the highway, so we'll see how that looks going back. And real easy acceleration getting back up to 70 miles an hour as soon as we get off of this curve. This is a <laughs> nice and long on-ramp, I love this. We'll hit 70 and re-engage FSD. And here's our final exit on the uh, return trip. Looking good. Getting off the highway right around 500 watt hours per mile. I will check in when we get to the driveway. Already, just like that, we are back in the driveway. 20.4 miles driven uh, over 24 minutes, 470.4 watt hours per mile for the tent roof rack range tests. That's, that's pretty good. 70 miles an hour, this truck still sips even with everything mounted on top of the truck. So now what we're going to do is remove the tent, keep the roof rack and do it all again. In between our installations and disassemblies, I am going to keep everything plugged in and charging just like we did the first time. So we'll leave about 80% every single time with a preconditioned truck off of shore power instead of the battery. Make sure that we are charging there. Beautiful. And just to give you a little better idea of what this roof rack and tent looks like, this is the Mars Aeroblade tent. At, I believe it's the, the thinnest rooftop tent available on the market. Yeah, it is very thin, only a couple inches. There is a discount code uh, for the tent and the rack in the description below. Uh, I also have the, the lights mounted on here. Those will be staying on there for both tests with the roof mounted stuff. Uh, when we get to the truck fully stock, those will be all removed. So if you ask me the Roof rack really makes the truck pop. I get a lot of comments on it, how it doesn't look as crazy with the roof rack on it. And I, I love the way it looks and I'll, I'll take the range hit no matter what it is, I'll take it. It's worth it. rooftop tents require like professional installation because they if they're so heavy you have to lower them with a crane or something on top of, you know in a, in a shop this is light enough that i can kind of shimmy draw myself it's still heavy but i can still do it myself all right just like that the tent is off the roof rack is bare that is it that really only took us 15 minutes or so and i think five that was me trying to find the right tool so we are about ready to go truck has been preconditioning we should be good there cool 67 degrees inside let's do it nice and cool here so we did charge uh not a whole lot but we're back up to 74 percent gained about four percent uh during that removal so i'm going to reset trip here and do 
roof rack, press save, and then reset that guy. Let's do it. We'll be doing the exact same route here. And by doing the exact same route, we are able to uh, negate any kind of wind or elevation change and anything of, of that sort. So let's do this next 20 miles. No tent, just the roof rack. Pulling onto the highway here for round number two. Nice and easy up to 70. Almost there, almost there. There it is. Here's our exit once again. About to get our first glimpse at what our efficiency change is. Real gentle off the off ramp here. Alrighty, and we are at 448. So that's just a little bit less than what our other trip was. So pulling a U-turn here. I think we were at about 450, 460, coming off the highway on that last leg. So yeah, 442, hopping back onto the highway westbound. Nice and easy there, right at 70. FSD, there you go. Alrighty, pulling off the highway. That is about the end of loop two. I'll meet you back at the driveway. And we are back at the driveway. Not much different, 20.4 miles, 25 minutes, and 458.5 watt hours per mile for the rack, no tent. So that's two and a half percent, almost 3% better. Wow, I don't, I don't know why I'm so shocked by that. So I guess moral of the story here, if you have a roof rack and you want a tent, nothing is really gonna happen. Uh, yeah, one or 2%, 3%, whatever that is. What we're going to do next is remove the entire roof rack and get this sucker back to stock. Let's get to work. The truck is back to stock. No more roof rack. That has a real dirty roof though. Ooh. We gotta reset our trip. Let's see here. Trip. And this will be stock. Boom. Reset. Done. Let's do it. One more loop. Onto the highway here. Gently up to 70 miles an hour. Let's do it. 70 right there. Cap FSD at 70, there we go. Here's our exit here. Bringing it off of FSD at the U-turn, we'll take a look at our efficiency. 389 at the U-turn, that is crazy good. That is excellent, about 10, 20% better than just the roof rack. But we are on our U-turn, headed back west, but let's get back onto the highway, finish it out. Alrighty, getting off the highway here. Pretty good test, good numbers. We'll see you back at the driveway. And there we have it, 397.4. The same 20.4 mile loop that we just did. Uh, so that's, yeah, what is that? Like 20% better than the whole roof rack and tent. Uh, 16, 17% better than just the, the, the bare rack itself. So yeah, if you've got a roof rack, look at you're looking at uh, 15 to 20% highway losses for, uh, for efficiency. That's, that's not that bad, actually. Uh, I definitely expected worse. I'll work with it. So that is the range test. There you have it. 20% range loss between the tent and that roof rack now just sitting <laughs> in my yard. Uh, so this will be mounted back on the truck here pretty soon. I'll see you guys in the next one.